There's a mug out here, and we're live. That's how it happens. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we're good. I know. <laughs> hey guys, Charlie, Mr. Tactical Pizza, and we got Nick today and Kamal joining us. And uh, we're gonna be testing out. I got some packages here. Hold on. I got two different optics here. I got the Goatar A17 and the A20. So A20 is gonna be your RMR cut. The A17 is RMSC cut. And I'll show you what we're doing here today, okay? So for the RMR one, we got the A20 here on this P80 Glock 17. Runs like a freaking champ, I might say. And then testing out the A17, we got a Hellcat, Springfield Hellcat right here. It's pretty slick. So we're gonna test these out today. Um, so far, I think they're pretty good quality for the price. So uh, let's get to it. Hey guys, we're testing out the Govitar A17 right here on the Springfield Hellcat. So we're still getting it sighted in, but so far we're getting it pretty close. Woo. I mean, it's a pretty sweet dock, guys. So uh, we have this testing out today and the Govitar A20. This is gonna be your RMR cut dot right here. And they're both, we're gonna test them out today for you and see how they run. Okay, so I'm used to an RMR. This is pretty similar. You got your up brightness, your down brightness. You got a good clear dot. It's not star fishing too bad. Let's see if we're on, Charlie. Any rattling, your brightness staying the same with the 147 grains? I mean, no, it's looking like it's holding up pretty well. Let's get some, uh... I mean, because the button's got a good positive click on them for the brightness. You can see it's got that little chamfer cut so you can coat witness still with your iron sights in the back. There's that little channel cut in the back of the optic. Boom, there you go. That's where it, you can still see your iron sights if you need to. Yeah, you're on. All right. Okay. Try to ring some steel. I'm going to shoot a few more. We'll see. Now this is my home built P80 Glock 17. Uh, it's nothing super amazing, but it's better than your combat master at home. Um, <laughs> I think I think I got the cheapest parts you can get in this, but it, hey, let's see how it goes. That's a nice little red dot. The buttons are up and down on the brightness over here. So if you want to turn it up, still got great clicks. It's got tactile clicks for whenever you need to adjust your windage and elevation and all that to side it in. For, I think it's around $100 for this red dot right here. I think I'll have links below in the description. So if you want to find them, I think these are, uh, this feels like a higher quality dot here i don't know i can hear myself this feels like a higher quality dot than your sig romeo zeros the plastic red dots you know that are for these small guns or the crimson trace ones this feels like a really solid for what it is so um broken i was seeing if it would move <laughs> the dot at all let's see a good smack. I don't know if that does anything. Deal. Well, I mean, it's still on. 
I don't know. Uh, granted, I don't shoot tiny guns well. I got big old bear paws. So, uh, but for what it is, I think it's not bad for your fun guns. Now, I wouldn't necessarily put this on your duty gun, okay? But for your budget red dots that you want to kind of throw on just your toys, or your kids' guns, or whatever, not bad. So, guys, another special thank you to Gobutar on sending out these incredible optics here uh, to the channel. Um, I think these are going to be great budget red dots for your polymer 80s, your daggers, your 1022s, okay? Things like that. They got RMR footprint ones. They got the RMSC ones. They even got a doctor footprint or the, I think it's the Burris Fast Fire Vortex footprint. You know the one I'm talking about, right? They got one of those. So make sure to check the links in the description below uh, for more info or to find yours today. Whatever we we're supposed to say. Cool. Like, subscribe, check out on Instagram, check out Gobatar, check the links in the description below. See you guys later.